Die Collectors, time for another mad item unboxing, so let's take a look. Alrighty, so here we have a piece of art by Sergio Aragones. So let's have a bit of a closer look at it. Right, won't take it out of that secondary piece of plastic there, but we have, I uh, don't know if you can read that, this is from Viva Karate, and we have Viva Karate, now it's not from Viva Karate, I'll show you what it's from in a sec, so this is Sergio cutting a sombrero, and has the words Viva Karate um, illustrated words Viva Cray printed on there. Those are actually printed, it seems. Don't know. I might need to have a closer look at that, uh, but that's certainly illustrated. You can see different marks on it there. And it was signed by Sergio in 1969. Uh, often when he signs things, he'll actually put the year that he signed it. Now, uh, it also says seven there. Now this piece is really significant, and the reason it's significant is it's actually from Sergio's very first paperback book. So it's from this book here, Viva Mad. So it's first ever paperback that uh, Sergio did on his own, uh, and it was released in 1968. And if you look, the very first piece of illustration within the book is page 7, which is this exact thing. So it's page seven there. Now you can see um, the markings everywhere on here are all perfect. Um, the uh, here you have like little grid lines, and that's to frame the page. So you can see that kind of frames the page there. I'll tell you a bit of a story going behind this. So so it took me actually four or five years to get this piece because what happened was a person was selling it, and then they refused to post it. They refused to allow for electronic payment. They just wouldn't sell it unless you went and got it picked up. What I did was got somebody in their local area to go and pick that up. So I got a delivery person to go and source it and pay for it and um, get it and then post it to me. So it's a fairly recent phenomenon that you can do that but I thought yeah I could actually use that to my advantage in this situation and uh, otherwise, I would never have got this piece. I've seen it's for sale forever. Now, I also did some other research and found that it actually sold in an art auction uh, some time ago. And I can't remember what auction house it was. It was a, a bit of a different one. But in any event, I've been trying to get this piece for years and years and years because of how significant it is. It's the first illustrated piece of the first paperback book by Sergio Actually, I will open that piece of plastic so we can just have a bit of a closer look at it. Okay, so I was actually wrong about that one. That's definitely printed, but that's hand drawn. So you can see the, you may not be able to see it on camera, but there's little shades and things on that. 
whereas that it's actually printed and then put on there which is pretty normal a lot of the the typeface they would use to do paste ups I'll stick it on there to rearrange it that was a, a really normal thing to do um, but yeah that is original art that's not this is so uh, I'll show you a lot closer there One other thing I just noticed was that there's actually embossed on the bottom here. And this has Strathmore use either side. So Strathmore must have been the paper that was used, the art paper. But, um, but anyway, this is definitely a piece I'm going to get framed up. And uh, I like pieces of art or any other collectible that has a bit of a story behind it. In other words, it took me a long time to get uh, because that's the benefit of collecting. You can spend a lot of time trying to find pieces and then once you find them, you get a sense of achievement because you've actually been able to get what you're after. One interesting thing with this piece is that the more I think about it, I reckon it's possible that the original name of this paperback book was actually Viva Karate, not Viva Mad. If you had any thoughts on that, maybe put them in the comments below and we can have a chat in there. Alright, that's all for this video. As always, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so, and we'll catch you next time.